keyboard. And I just I think that's just because they have programmed most, it in. Most box controllers. Were People were able to like get boxes like kind of working, but they. I'll have time to iron that out. Yeah. And the heat wave, of course, was a couple months ago, so... That's true, yeah. I wonder, actually, if anybody who had, like, the Kickstarter build was able to get keyboard work in, if it was done at that point. Like, considering how close the Kickstarter build and the heat wave build were probably made together... We'll I, just have to see it, uh, Genesis. Yeah, Genesis is going to be a lot of fun. Two whole new characters. Tico's doing some work here. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty interesting matchup because they're both characters with yeah. big, big, big disjoints. Big disjoints. It's like one of the things that gives Claire kind of her advantage, but Silva's able to contest that. And however, Tico's doing a really good job of just kind of keeping Grady off of, of him. Ooh. Trying to force Grady off stage, stuff out these higher recoveries. Is Upstrong going to do it? No, not quite yet. Not quite just, on that either. I'm just trying to burn this recovery, but Grady keeps making it closer a little bit every time with great parry bait. Just desperately wants that kill and does get it eventually. Mm -hmm, but the up air is going to do it immediately, <laughs> evening up that, that stop count. All full even here. On oh, three down tilts. In the ch a counter, though, gonna stuff up that side of the stage. Kiko's positioning is just really good right now. That counter read was so sick. Kiko just trying to force Silva off stage. Gonna try to go for the side special. No, but at least Kiko does manage to get back to stage. However, he loses stage control to Gritty, and now that's a full field of grass. Uh, this place counter is gonna rack up some quick percent. Gritty did a really fantastic job there of recovering really close to Tico on the opposite side of the way Tico is attacking. Tico is positioning so well right now. Oh my goodness. Gritty is having, is struggling with his recovery right now. Tico is just playing on point at the moment. Tico had a lot of fire going into this match. He was talking earlier about uh, how he wants to do better on this PR, and I think this would be a very good spot to start. Yeah, I mean, there's already been an upset today. I popped off for that. Uh, Gritty was my bracket demon for a bit. Yeah, we'll see if Gritty can get back into the same situation of being your bracket demon. I hope not. I hope not. I really don't like losing to Sylph like oh. that. Very a hard character to fight. Unfortunate SD from Tico ties yeah, but, it up. Ooh, Grady's out of resources right now and has to play a very precarious game, but manages to get back on stage with the counters and come back and give Tico a second chance at life. Oh, tries to go for the grab, unfortunately. I don't know if trying to force a 50 50 there is necessarily what you want to be doing. The seed got destroyed by the fading field. Good roll, Reed. goes off stage. Manages to make it back though. Unfortunately whiffs the Dacus. These players are they're playing such a good so job patient right now. Arthritis is in full effect at the moment. Dak raw Dacus isn't gonna quite connect yet. That might put Tigo in a really bad position. He has full field of grass. There we go. Tipper Fair Dak is going to secure that first game. Absolute nail biter right there. That was a bit of a scramble to finish that out there for Tico, mm -hmm. unfortunately, but does get it at the end. Now for a stage band here, Rockwall, Frozen Fortress, Aramata, taking it to Endless Abyss. Final destination. Oh my god! Immediate first stock to a double down air spike in nine seconds. Kyle. Someone make a highlight reel for Kyle, today. keep that one on the replay. <laughs> Surprise KML didn't end their bracket today. Uh, you know, sometimes you just get a little burned out. And I That's true. It. I was very close to not entering, and then I saw that I needed to for PR. <laughs> okay, I'll throw myself in. 
half of the half of the game is mental. Yeah. Your your outside of the game affects your inside play as much as your inside play. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're getting the juggle here. See, not gonna kill off the top yet. And again, another another Dak is Tico's just doing such a great job of keeping ready, like out of stage control when he can. And getting the most out of these edge guards because even if this percent keeps climbing up eventually one of these hits will kill oh, if you have fast fall on that hit there this high recovery is not working out for great right now another dak that is going to secure that it. stock three stocks to, to one here able to make it back oh, but it does die off the side and a dash attack into Kill there. Is Gritty gonna be able to get something started here? Is a whole stock to make up. Parry might be to start something. Ooh, great parry from Tico. Went for another awful. deep down air spike there. Tico knows in this matchup, Claren has to work so hard to try and get anything on Sylve. There but we go. Just, just going for it. Absolute. Sheesh. Tico, the down air master, just loves that move. It, normally, it's like, oh, Sil let Sylv go to FD. So, you know. Um, Tower of Heaven here. Interesting, because Claren does really like the triplets. Oh, it doesn't go for the runoff. Oh, low recovery from Gritty there. Surprised we didn't see a side special there from Tico. Once these tippers start, Tico is effectively playing Smash 64, it feels like sometimes. And this stage is in Remix. <laughs> yeah, you're right! Oh, Mr. He's yelling at our production head, Kyle, as he walks by. Can't believe production is slacking. KML. Oh, unfortunate DIF there. Who let him out of his cage? How dare production do something else? How dare production? How dare you, production? I <laughs> means I believe we have Samurai Nick back there. Shout out Samurai Nick. I don't know who that is, but shout out to him. Oh my god, that killed off the side! Wow. Trying to hold out, trying to escape that fair train. I mean, but the dare barely clipping Tico there. Gritty doing a very good job of cleaning up here on this one. Yeah. I mean, that last one was... was it? On practically a three stock. This is a uh, lot more even so far. Here we go. M miss that. Mi miss. Punish that missed parry. Words are hard sometimes. And good DI out to avoid the sylv. Is Tico going to be able to even up this game, though? It's looking pretty rough. See it in a purple. The the seed. The first time I've seen that purple in a while. A quick two stock on Tower of Heaven. That uh, stage pick was was pretty important. But there. no, Tico has counter pick advantage for the rest of the set. We're going to see the trouble counter pick. I know one still who likes this stage. But this is definitely super clear and favored. Right now, Gritty is doing a great job of just kind of boxing out Tico. I'm getting about 70% on the board right now, and Climbing tries to read the DI up and out. Fortunately, doesn't get the up strong. Uh oh my goodness, absolute. Another double down air. Absolute steal. First stock in 30 seconds. Great. That's just how quick these can erupt sometimes. There we go, side, par side special punish. Read the parry. Tico kind of in Grady's head right now. Great tech there. I'm gonna make it back. Ah, oh, but that down air not gonna be able to tech quite on the ground. Tico started to mix up his play a little bit, going for a lot more down air. Some combo starters here. Nice call out with the up strong. I'm surprised that back air didn't hit. Tico's playing so Don't clean here. <gasps> Oh my goodness, phenomenal string. Even if it didn't lead to a kill, that was a great amount percent. And we're gonna see that. No, no F strong, but F tilt is gonna throw pretty off stage. Has to go for the low recovery. Does get the tech though. Tico, unfortunately, just not quite far enough nice. back. I 
I'm gonna call out that F strong. You know, played so strong that first stock, but now it's struggling to kill a bit. Ooh, that might cost him to stock. Safe for now. Safe for now, but again, off stage, air dodge already burned. So it's that double jump. Back. It is a bit of a nail biting situation here right now. Trying is just trying to set up a nest Ooh. here, but broken in comes Tico to take the kill. Tico gonna be able to get something started, needs to get another clean kill. Well, but 15 percent only on the board, that could vanish very well in just a second. Manages to evade the howl though. Here comes that seal blender. Tico's off stage in a precarious position, but using the overhang platform to assist in the recovery. Doesn't get the parry though, and now. Breeze is kind of walking away with this last stock. Is he going to live? He does! Tico's really scrambling here to try to kill these flowers. Oh, f is going to start ready off stage, though. It's a hard position. He's going to make it back. Good tipper on the back air. He needs to make something happen right oh, now. Oh, that holdout is going to not be favorable. That down tilt clipping Tico yet again, throwing him on the other side of the stage. Unfortunately, he didn't Light. snap to ledge there. Now we have game five. Game five here and another counter pick from Tico. That one didn't seem to work out too well for him. No, it, it, it was close though. Stage. And it gets banned here. Yeah, <laughs> you're already realizing that's not a good little stage. Going to Ethereal Gates, mm. interesting. This is a this is a stage Gritty's pretty good on. I believe this was the stage I lost to in our set. That is correct. That was pointed out. Oh, I respect the ledge boost attempt. Oh, oh, that'll do it. Dives off the side, puts Looks the like hands up. A bit of a controller issue there. Gritty's in the zone now. He's locked in. Big difference between the earlier games and this one. These flowers, they've been staying a lot mm. alive a lot longer on the stage. And Claren, unfortunately, like no non-committal tool. I mean, your best tool for it is a jab. Yeah, but Tika's been using pretty well, but... It's kind of like in a uh, MMORPG. You gotta deal with the ads before you take on the big boss. True. Trying to get a t bit of a tech chase going on here. He needs to find an opening and capitalizing on it. That tipper could be the start. Goes for the grab, attempting the roll, the hold in. These trades are working out slightly in his favor. Ooh, awkward position to be in off stage yet again. Flowers are on deck now. Gritty is so good at covering, oh, but kill the top. phenomenal the eye. Manages to live it back. Great tipper dash attack. Fortunately. Doesn't quite get in. He needs to find this opening. Oh, but the upstrong doesn't do it quite yet. No double bear yet, though. Gritty's also adapted a lot by trying to put out more flowers <laughs> now that he knows that Tico is struggling to do mm -hmm. it. Oh, Jab gonna buy Tico just an extra second. Oh, they're gonna do it that time it will. Just needs like one like good stray strong. That'll, That'll do, do it. it. Alright, it's even right now and field is on deck that shuts down a bit of with the stage for Gritty at the moment. Here to the purple zone. This game five last stop. Mm -hmm. Tico needs to get a string started like soon though. Otherwise, he keeps getting stray hits and can't get yeah. It's not getting the tippers that he needs. Close it out. Wow. 